This is kind of ridiculous, but also a bit of a big deal for me. This is SVG. This is the stuff that I normally use to send to my pen plotter, and that's being created from this little poem here. That was written by ChatGPT, of course, which is why it's that bad. But here we have stuff in code, not having to use Inkscape, not having to use anything, and is now being outputted here. I haven't quite got it spitting out the final SVG to send over to the pen plotter, but I just wanted to record this now because it's a pivotal moment that shows that what I think I can do can actually be done, and that's convert a font into one that I can actually use some code. There's variations in the letters. They're all controlled by dots instead of these Bezier curves, so I can manipulate them. Anyway, I'm really excited. This is great. Turns out I didn't make it into the studio on Tuesday, and I was going to finish recording a little bit to go on the end of the Rizzo print video. But it's Wednesday, I'm going to have to sneak in now, nice and early, and then I've got a newsletter this afternoon. So let's do that. And this is the Rizzo print that I need to make some B-roll for today. Should have done this yesterday, and then I'll try to get that video up a day late. But this over here, uh, I'm still working on this. This used the hidden line removal stuff, but you can still see there's some, maybe you can see that. There's still these little dots that are left behind as artifacts. So I'm finding with the hidden line removal stuff from Axadraw, and I didn't run the code cleanup that gets rid of all of those on that. And over here, this is the handwriting stuff that I'm working on. It's looking pretty good. And this is just to check that I could actually distort it. This has got a lot of distortion. You know, it's the idea. It's a poem that goes from the top and gets distorted. You could do other stuff like explode it. But let me talk about this handwriting just a little bit. I'm going to sit down for my serious video. Let's go over here. So I'm all about sharing. Let me think about this. I'm all about sharing and documenting stuff. And one of the things I've been documenting is my quest to get handwriting stuff. Hopefully that's in focus. Uh, get the axe draw writing handwriting because the couple of times I mentioned handwriting on YouTube people have said hey how would you do that and I thought it'd be interesting to go through the process and I wasn't sure at the start of recording the video whether I'd actually get to a solution or not so it's kind of like a documentary a short documentary about me going through those steps to see if I could do it and the suffering I've been through now that I'm here I can actually get it to work I think I'm going to do something that I don't normally do and that's hold back this information for a little bit. I'm all for doing the pen plotting tutorials and getting as many people into pen plotting as possible, but I actually want a chance to create some artwork with the handwriting first. And I have a feeling if I release a video that's just telling everybody how to do it and then giving them the tools, other artists will take it and then they'll produce these wonderful results, which I'm all for. I'm all for artists producing great things, but it feels like this is too valuable a skill just to give away straight away without having um, not profited from it, but used it myself first. I hope that makes sense. I don't normally do this. Often when I discover how to do something with a pen plotter, with art, I just publish it straight away. And that was my plan for this. This just feels different. Anyway, this has gone on long enough for a week notes video, but I thought I'd record this somewhere. Right, I'm gonna get on with the Rizzo video and then writing the newsletter. That's basically my day today. Right, I'm gonna get on. I'll see you soon. have a look. So this is a whole, um, here we go, that's better. This is a whole short Sherlock Holmes story, the four orange pips, or the five orange pips. I think it's four. I'll put it here. And that is seven and a half thousand words on half imperial sheet. So many of them. And this poor fella here has been sacrificed. Check out the nib on that. So, what happened was, is I set this away and I thought I'd stay until it had finished, but it got to about eight o'clock at night and still hadn't finished, still had a couple more hours to go. So it takes about seven hours to draw the whole of this. Seven and a half thousand words, thousand words per hour. So you can do the maths for words per minute. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. Yeah, let's go turn some more lights on. So I shouldn't have done that really, because yesterday I was supposed to be doing the Tuesday video edit and no Tuesday, I was supposed to be doing the Tuesday video edit. Something came up at home, so I wasn't here. Wednesday's supposed to be the newsletter, which means I have to do that today instead. But this is amazing. Um, I need to do so much more with this. 
my brain is overflowing with ideas for what to do with it, but I can't do anything with it for the rest of this week. I've got too much other stuff to do. And next week is a little bit busy as well. Hmm, back burner. I don't like it on the back burner. All right, I'm going to get on. I will see you in the newsletter. If you're not signed up to the newsletter, sign up to the newsletter. With the way that Twitter and social media is going, it's probably here and the newsletter the best way to keep in touch, build a community, that type of thing. Anyway, I've talked for long enough. Let's go. Let's go. nice change at the end of this video I'd get us out of the studio because everything's just been in the studio and take you to the small little park in Shrewsbury but it's locked so we're here instead which is a nice little spot outside the church I got some um I got some food from a new shop in Shrewsbury called the little camel now hold on let me show you got this which is nice chilled pear juice and then I've also got some of this now I really like these type of things, but I have to be careful because I'm a bit allergic to shellfish and prawns and things like that. And quite a few of these things have like prawn oil or eel oil in. So I have to be really careful which ones I get, but I think that one will be all right. I've just finished editing the week notes video up to Thursday. And it kind of seems perfect like it is. So I'm not going to add anything more other than this. And I think it's been a really good week for the start of this last quarter. Um, there is a lot I've got to do, but this seems like a really good start to it anyway. Uh, I hope you have a good weekend and I will catch you next week for more Less Hand Lighting. Not sure.